leaving Serbia perhaps for the last time. This was the moment in the early morning Radovan Karadzic was taken from Belgrade's special court, his extradition approved. Four cars with Serbian intelligence officers inside sped out of the building heading to the airport where the former Bosnian Serb leader was put on a plane for the Hague. His departure came just hours after supporters fought running battles in the streets with police. The trouble began after a mass demonstration protesting against his arrest. Around 150 young men who'd been spread out in groups suddenly came together as a mob to confront police. It began with insults. But quickly, bricks, bottles and fireworks followed. As the police came under sustained attack, they responded first with the missiles aimed at them, then with tear gas. Fearing they were about to be massively outnumbered, they moved to clear the area. Battles drawn, they rushed the crowd, sending it scattering around Belgrade's main street. The tear gas is still hanging in the air. It's burning the eyes of many people around here. As you can see, the police have formed up in the streets. For the moment, they have the situation under control, but the people who were rioting are now spread around various pockets in the city. People in normally bustling restaurants watch the violence unfold. This woman told us she was narrowly missed by a rock she says was thrown by police. Running battles continued with police handing out instant punishment to those they thought were involved in rioting. Several police officers were injured, some seized. The authorities hoped to avoid any trouble, but this was organized, coordinated and violent. There will be many here hoping that as news of Radovan Karadzic's move to The Hague spreads, the trouble of Tuesday night won't be repeated. The former Bosnian Serb leader's extradition was inevitable from the moment of his arrest. He leaves behind a mass angry support and now faces a future where he'll be asked to account for the past.